Hello, Hello everybody. Recording. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are, are, you, are you ready? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Duke Two Hundred here back for another video. Today I'm joined by me. It's Jaden. Um, I'm making an appearance yet again since Poseidon. So Hi, Jayden. <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> it is your turn. Oh my goodness! It's been how? It's been eighty-four years, but we're finally here with another ship. Wait. Let me let me check the receipts. When was the last time I finished something? Twenty twenty. Um, <laughs> Four years three ago. Years ago. Three years ago. Three years. What was that? What was the last oh, ship? Oh yeah, March twentieth of twenty twenty one. Okay. okay. Yeah, almost four. Almost yeah, four. Almost four. Give it almost. To you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back with a new ship. What is what? What's she called, Jaden? Um, this is the Octavian Explorer, um, the next ship in my line, Octavian Voyages. This, so is, a this is a I've custom previously... cruise line, by the way, for anybody yeah. who's curious. Not a real cruise line. Um, Though obviously, it should ship be. is based on real ships, you know, takes inspiration, yeah, as of they do. Um, but yeah, um, the original first ship of this line that it did was the Eclipse, which Daytona used in the Poseidon movie, the most recent one. <laughs> yes, and um, still my favorite movie that we've ever made, by the way. And the, ex the Eclipse, from what I remember, oh, held up really well in the movie. And if we do another mm -hmm. one, I, I'm just saying this one would also hold up extremely well for a movie. Oh, this one would do really well for the movie. Oh, there, yeah. There's there's a lot. <laughs> there's so much. So much more detail. It's tiny, but it packs a punch. <laughs> oh, for real. My, simply... Who, who, it was some... I think it was Ethan's computer who literally started lagging when he, oh, yeah. when he, took when he saw it for the first time. He was like, why is there so much on this Lido deck? <laughs> and you know what? That means it's a good ship. At least right? in, and at I least was in the modern that, generation. I, I was thinking that it didn't look like it was enough, but that sold it to me. Exactly. So. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do a little fly around. As I fly around, you can kind of give us a little, little talk about kind of the inspiration, because you were saying it's based off some other ships. You can kind of break yeah, that yeah. down for us, etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, start your little talky talk. I'm doing a little fly around. All right. So the um, Explorer originally started as the Viking Sky. Um, I had decided I was going to build her and got going on with the interiors. There was a lot of color issues and just texture problems and just issues I did not want to deal with. Yeah. So my solution was turn this into a custom that I can do whatever I want with. And it made me a lot happier. And this was born. So the main style wise came from the Viking Sky, the Thor, that whole class. Yeah. Um, and it definitely, took if, you, if you know what you're looking for, you can kind of spot it. Oh, 100%. The, there was a lot of refitting done. Um, the superstructure was reworked. Mo mostly everything was reworked to turn it into what I would prefer. Um, like specifically the super forward superstructure, I rebuilt it to actually make it make sense instead of having fake balconies. They're true ocean views with balconies to the side. But anyway, um, yeah. just improvements to make it my own and then taking aspects from other ships like with Holland America and their saucers and just general style wise from borrowing from varying brands to make a cohesive design that i like yeah so i, I think it came out well yeah it's very eye pleasing like just looking at it i'm like this is very good for the eyes i love it <laughs> okay so welcome aboard um this is the main foyer lobby atrium whatever you want to call it um, to the left, right when you walk in, right when you board, was Dreambeam, mm -hmm. a staple from most custom ships that come out of the server. A um, little coffee Very spot, true. you know, get you espresso. It's that me espresso, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I had to. Um, and this is the main atrium. Um, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. The chandelier. Yeah. It really, this was really something that I was like, I'm just going to build a circle and see what happens. And it, I find that it flowed together very well. Yeah, the, the um, atrium is beautiful. The, the, the circular stair really sells it for me. Um, oh, absolutely. It just draws your eye up. And then I'm trying to remember where you got, didn't, you, wasn't this from Queen, Queen Anne, I think, or like, 
There was a so, there was some picture. I think you said you used it as reference for like the glass wall. And, and everything. yes, Anne initially did in the spire, right? Because I was going to put a mural here, but <laughs> then I realized I am using losing so much potential for glass elevators here. Yeah. So the uh, this is supposed to resemble like a wrought iron design behind the glass window mm -hmm. um and then there's two elevators behind it so when you're going up you can see into the atrium nice 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 oh, sorry i nice just love, little... this, I love this room <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's literally my favorite on the entire ship i love it it's really good it it was the first room that i built actually and yeah. i i made the design and never really came back to it because it worked so well simply um, it set the tone for the entire rest of the ship I, like a few little things that added in, like the LED lights and everything, but yeah. like for the most part, this is how it was built originally, and it it held on very well. well there we go. Um, All right. So of course you got guest services here and yes. short excursions over on that side, but we'll go back there. We'll we'll make a full circle yeah. to get everyone their bearings. Um, so entering, if you go forward from the atrium on deck one, this is deck one, mm -hmm. get your shopping plaza, um, diamonds at sea over here, your high-end jewelry boutique. Um, over here we've got the captain's closet yep. and well, nautical boutique. Just random little shops with little nice little trinkets for you to buy and spend all your money on. With no tax, of course, so it's oh, better. Of course, no tax. <laughs> And this ship does, of course, have full crew spaces. We'll get there. Yeah. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a lot of crew on this thing to show Oh, off. yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, here's the Octavian shop, the themed gift shop on board. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, you know, the main central rotunda of the shopping center. Um, yes. Got Blacklight Piano Bar over here. Um, Ooh, I forgot to some drinks down. and listening to. Oh, oh don't fly into the walls now. I definitely did. <laughs> <But> then, <laughs> sipping drinks with live piano, just you know, nice little place to relax. Yeah. And then if you go forward from here, Hold on, I that was you already. I gotta come outside. Oh, on the back side. <laughs> okay. Um, nice little mirror over over here, like. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to resemble. Daytona did it, and I liked it, so we kept it. <laughs> it's definitely something I pulled from Normandy's panels, so there like we go. That, that works for me. That yeah. works for me. It works for the, um, for the Normandy life, wherever that it ended up at. <laughs> got some extra boarding doors here at the front. You know, Got to make sure everybody can get on board when we need to. Yep. And through here, we are entering the spa, the Vitalis Caesar Spa. Because the brand Octavian is named after Caesar. Octavian is Caesar's name. Yeah. Um, so pulling in some Roman history here. Love, um, love. spa. Um, nice little barber shop right here. Simple. It's a barber. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Um, got your scent soak. Nice little area to get your senses revitalized through aromatherapies. Simply, I am, in fact, re revitalized just looking at it. <laughs> you can thank Disney for giving me this idea when I built Fantasy. So. God bless. <laughs> um, through here is possibly my favorite room in the spa that Daytona did. Oh my god, I forgot about room. this room. <laughs> <laughs> I did this room initially, and I think it was like, I don't remember what it was, like a mass, a mass eye like i think it was a mud room but like not to this extent and they yeah. kind of came along and was like i got something for you <laughs> i i th want to see i added the little statue here and i know i did the mural in the back yeah you did the mural and the statue and okay. then the greenery the greenery it really yes. kind of did all together yeah it definitely i think makes it just like the perfect little little it's tropical uh, not tropical but like fun little spot yeah sensual you know sensual oh. <laughs> and we got the nail salon and of the hair course. salon here. You know, gotta gotta do your upkeep when you go on your longer voyages. Of course, gotta get the nails uh -huh. did. And to either side flanking, um, you have your treatment rooms for your massages and mm -hmm. your your hot rocks and your cupping. You know, whatever you whatever you get done. Of course, add an up charge, of course. Yeah, when you let people touch you for free, I, we gotta love it. Gotta love it. Free. Who, who's oh, free? Oh, oh. Not, a, not on Octavian, not girl. Not on Octavian. 
<laughs> um, through here, we've got the locker rooms. Same thing on either side um, with the attached saunas associated. Mm -hmm. um, now, I do. Mu I, I have to point out, I noticed you went into the men's locker room, and you know what? That is very mindful. That is very demure. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that, and I'm not upset. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so you get you get your ocean views as you're getting your body temperature up. So you can yeah. be warming up in here while you're sailing through Alaska. So you know, Ooh. never know. Yeah. Also, the ship just really fits that kind of like coldy vibe, like the Alaska slash the fjords, etc. Because I know we were exactly. discussing this, and I was like, this. Yes, I'm so glad you picked those locations because it fits it so well. <laughs> It really does. It, it, this is definitely a ship that you would take to the more adventurous ports and on the more adventurous voyages. Absolutely. So, as to its size. It, like I said earlier, it's based on the Viking yeah. Stoner class ship. So there is a 1C ice rating, so we can go through some minimal ice. Well, there we go. Um, a bit more of an adventurous ship. Yeah. Um, so during that, we've entered the gym, and through the gym, we can enter the yoga studio. Mm -hmm. Um very so, simple, you know. So I realized, I realized her being a, like an adventure ship, that would explain the name Explorer. The, okay, I, I am surprised that you never caught onto that yet. Nope. <laughs> I, I didn't even I didn't <laughs> realize she was an adventure ship until you just said it, and I was like, oh my god, that explains so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so here we've got the Bourbon Club. Mm -hmm. um, kind of theme like germanic kind of new orleans ish speakeasy vibe yeah um just little quaint and cozy bar you know yeah. with traditional drinks bourbon of course is the drink of choice here yep. <laughs> and also has a little karaoke stage um, which we all love and to, to see gotta love karaoke oh yeah and here we got future cruises nicely placed in the shopping plaza of course. Um, with the free fiji water bottles if you are speaking to a get with the team member <laughs> oh yeah i forgot the, the gallon jug here yeah the gallon jug of fiji they <laughs> this is literally you you get quite thirsty with the line that forms you know there's a long wait so oh, yeah when i have to book my next octavian cruise like i'm gonna be thirsty after all that <laughs> there's a lot of things to sign oh anyway. yeah of course <laughs> Um, here we've got the Cruise Essential Shop. You know, just if you need, you forgot your swim trunks at home or something, yeah, or your moisturizers, is this whatever you need. Is this where you'd also get the, the, the ship models, or is that going to be on the other side with the captain's that, closet? That's the Octavian Shop. That's the Octavian Come Shop. On. Oh, I'm yes. so sorry. God. Ugh. Ugh. Fake fan, fake fan. <laughs> Um, in here, we do have to enter this one. This is Mari's Watches. Yes. Rilon himself did it for me. Oh, hooray, um, he came favorites. up with exactly. He came up with the design on another custom that I have going, um, and I begged him to replicate it here, and he did amazing. It looks better than the first one. So perfect. I also love the new paintings usage. It's it just fits the vibe so well. <laughs> He, he asked if he was allowed to use paintings, and I said, if it gets me a shop, I don't care. So he, <laughs> he said full he damage. Did that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, entering back into the atrium, um, mm -hmm. here is your short excursions desk. Of course. So if you, if you need help when you're adventuring in your excursions, you come no, here no, no, no. and get some when help. You are, when you are exploring... Uh, uh, I, yeah, I see, I yeah. see, I see. <laughs> this is <laughs> and why down I'm not allowed hallways. to do videos. <laughs> you know, this is why you write the scripts, though. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and down this way, as you can see, we have Sage and Saffron. Yes. This is a Asian fusion restaurant that, in my concept of the restaurant, the menu changes night every night, and it is a fusion with a different culture yeah. so it might be asian um mexican asian french asian italian anything is an option um yeah, yeah. so it's just like a fusion blend restaurant kind of like chi bang and carnival but this one is a rotational so it changes mm -hmm. um through here this grand archway is the chef's table 
So la, la, for la. An, a nice upcharge of two fifteen per person. Oh or, god. I don't know. <laughs> Carnival is two hundred something. So I feel like that being for this being a, lux a semi luxury line, I feel like yeah. that's appropriate. And see, that's why <laughs> we're not doing chef's table ever. <laughs> yeah, no, I I'm tempted for our cruise in December, but no, thank you. Yeah, no, <laughs> mm -mm, unless it's a free, um, absolutely not. Right, for free I'll do it. Oh yeah. Um, even have a view into the wine, the specialty wines somewhere. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have Hannah walk out and just devour this in front of us. <laughs> for you, the next YouTube short. There we um, go. So in here is the main galley for the main dining room, which is above us, and then the two specialties over here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just do a quick little walkthrough just to show you that it is complete. Um, fully furnished. Thank you, Daytona, for helping me do this. I I knew what I was doing, but also did not know what I was doing. So he helped a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, we definitely used my Carnival Legend as reference for a good chunk of this. As well as, <laughs> you... I want to say Poseidon, because I know that also had like a massive galley to use. All, all I know is that you came in and you were like, I'll do a layout, you just do it. And I said, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we said, it's um, done. <laughs> exactly, and I got it done. So we'll enter the the back of Oceano Steakhouse. Um, so this is the specialty steakhouse on board all the Octavian ships. Mm -hmm. um, so a nice little luxury spot to eat at with your partner or cruise companions of during your course. voyage. Yes. Nice little luxury area. Grand entrance, entrance right here. That, yeah, I love the use of the walls here. This is just so weird and grand. I, I specifically said I thought to myself, I want to make this as compact, but yet, like, intricate as I can. Yeah, so, you said bouge. Yeah. It's bouge. <laughs> Bougie. Bourgeoisie. Come it's, on. It's the bourgeoisie. Like... That's what the Oceana Steakhouse is. <laughs> With those prices? Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Disney who? Like, come on. <laughs> um, but oh, now God. we're back out at Dream Bean, and yeah. so that concludes deck one. So we'll head up. Of course. So now we're on deck two, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, aft deck two. Out. Yeah, aft deck two. Um, so let's think of how we want to do this. Um, we'll go this way. Yeah. Um, so going forward, um, ah, you'll hit the atrium again. Um, mm -hmm. Of course. Nice little view here. Still just as great as the deck below. Oh, yeah. With the entrance into the first major bar of the ship, the Amber Bar. The Amber. Daytona, you you picked a theme that I had went with unintentionally, and I don't remember what it was. Wasn't it? It was Tudor or something. I don't remember. Oh God, I don't remember exactly. I, it might have been maybe the old Dutch style from like Titanic with the reds, the reds That's in the what dark it was. woods. Yeah. I you said that and I was like sure totally. <laughs> yeah, you said so this is the exactly the amber bar. Um, you know normal, it's a bar. You know yeah. seating, got a little stage for some karaoke or whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. yeah, funky, fresh, cute little burst pattern on the ceiling and yeah. yeah. It also gives that one vibe from Eclipse. I I, I can't say the exact like name of it, but that the one. Uh, I want to say it was a, a nightclub that was next to the amber bar on Eclipse that like had the the devil staircase down. Oh, the minor bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the kind that of that won't make a reappearance, is. but <laughs> uh -huh. uh, got got your mural here. Um, yeah. Don't know what it is, so don't ask. I um, also don't so know what anyway. it is because I don't remember doing it. <laughs> Um, and out here, just take a little peek for, because I know people are going to want to see it. Yeah. Open promenade that does wrap, Daytona, show that in, yeah, does it, wrap the full the length of the thing. ship, so you can get your jogs in. Um, I'll do the math, and Daytona might insert it into this video, uh, like, we'll see right about now, it. as text. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, for how many laps you can do. But anyway, um, so right here is the Regal Casino. Mm -hmm. um just simple little fun casino um yeah all the slot machines just waste all of your money um, of course all in the raised tier as well exactly exactly added added some depth to this room yeah 
I love that you can walk right by the windows too, and it's a little bit raised from the um, promenade deck, so you can have this little like raised up view from there. Exactly, it's just a little something different, you know. Yeah. I, 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 the deck height is so high that I was like, why not? And so I did it for real. And I will say the extra deck height in here just it makes it feel so much like I don't know what the word is. It, it obviously makes open. it big, makes it open, makes it just grandiose in most of the rooms it goes to. Exactly. Through. It, it really paid off to add that extra height into the deck because it just, it allows you to do so much more that you can do with lower deck heights. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so across from the casino, we've got Capture Studios, the photo gallery on board. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can sit down, pick your photos that you want, and come over to the desk and they'll go get them for you from the print shop. Yep. Um, and then got your bionic bar here of course um, with the mobile octavian app on your phone you can place your order and it'll make it for you Ooh, we um, love a good tech savvy cruise line exactly exactly coming forward um we got you know gotta show it you got your conference center okay. same thing on the other side simple little conference center projector yeah. screen audio booth in the back you know just you know yeah yeah, so, perfect. this is the Explorer's Show Lounge, not just lounge, as Daytona pointed out. Yes. Because um, this is indeed the main theater on board. Um, small, but packs a punch. Exactly. There's a very... It might be... It might have, what is it? What is that I wrote? It, it might appear small, but we are... Our talented performers are designed to whatever, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. But beneath this trapdoor, there is a lot of entertainment development space below the, so in this much. ship. So if the the entertainment is top tier, simply yeah. like everything back and then down from right here is pretty much all for entertainment dedicated. Literally all for music related, theater related, and just like hospitality type stuff. It's so exactly. much. They have a dance studio that's probably that is bigger than the captain's cabin. No, for real. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than the chef's table restaurant. So yeah, and that's a luxury that like I don't think most cruise ships offer to their uh, was it theater theatrical team. Exactly. Like you are lucky if you have a rehearsal room. Mm -hmm. Like most most of them make them rehearsal on stage. For real. Um, and then we'll go out onto the deck and, you know, show off the open promenade. Of course. Um, walking backwards. Uh, so this is the main promenade deck, of course. Windows looking in, got your deck chairs and your lifeboats up there. Um, I will say the height down here is just, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. It's, and the funny thing is that's not even the top. There's another deck above Yeah, there's above a whole other deck above this because this is just the boarding <laughs> area for crew and such. Exactly. So you got your two tenders and the two lifeboats, you know, gotta have enough space for everybody. Oh, yeah. Got your speedboat, deployable rafts with the hang the handle. Um and yeah. Um and then we'll go in right here perfectly to the Meridian Bar. This is for um general bearings. The atrium's directly ahead of us from right there. And yep. here's the dining room. So this is the Meridian Bar. Um another just, you know, kind of just um, get a drink, wait for dinner, and then enjoy chit chat. And then a little notification will come up, and you can come to the dining room, the Silver Pearl, um, yes. the main dining room on board. Um, host your normal dining room menu. Um, yeah. With, and I quote from the from the release video, a Michelin star meal. Daytona claimed it that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> just as a it's a luxury brand. It deserves that little claim. <laughs> also, just the middle um, of this is huge. Like, I know... It is very large. Like, this dining room literally it holds everybody for dinner at once. Like, think Titanic-style dining room. Like, all the first class can <laughs> dine in this. All in one seating. Legit, everyone can have a seat. Um, we'll go out right here. Emergency exit. Um, had to include the smoking zone here. Yep. Um, just on the very back deck during the wraparound. So just hold your breath if you're running. If you don't want to inhale smoke, <laughs> you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, and from here, that's everything on this deck. 
surprisingly. Not really, it's a small ship. Yeah. Um, so we will go up from here. And we will view the first major suite of the evening. The Octavian Suite, which was designed by yours truly, Daytona. Um, so you can give the tour of it, since you know it best. Okay, I'll have to see if I remember a good chunk of this, because <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually looked in here. Okay, so if I remember rightly, the layout itself of the suite was taken from multiple different ships uh, of the kind of more modern type of interior design, so like Norwegian, uh, MSC, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact one for like this specific design. If I can remember, I will put it into the to the video right now. But it opens up with a dining room with a nice four seater. And if you want to add some more four tables, we have all the chairs just surrounding the, the room. Over onto the uh, right here, we have the setting room or living room, whatever you want to call it. I do realize the carpet broke on the table because it should be, hello. There we go. Uh, say, so are you? I, I can't. Video. Yeah, I can't see my uh, hot bar, so I'm like, where is my block? Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. but no, it should be like that. The living room itself. I think this was taken from one of the Viking ships. It might have been Viking Sky, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> but no, this is one of the most gorgeous setting rooms I've designed because I'm like, it's just so modern, but like still fits that kind of like classically colonial vibe with the like white panels exactly. and such and then yeah. on the back i gave him this. free range and he did his thing and it's beautiful <laughs> and on the back here we have the second small bedroom so this is for like the kids if they are traveling with you etc or like let's say grandma's with you and you want to take her and put her in a little room we got mm -hmm. this one which comes with its own little private bathroom with a rainforest shower head very nice, Love very it. demure, Love very cutesy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop quoting that now because <laughs> it is it's a dead <laughs> meme. Uh, we're here the fourth time now. Listen, that was that was the twice. We got it twice. Uh, this, okay. is, this is the master. Um, I, I don't remember again where this design for the headboard came from, but I remember I pulled it from somewhere for, with the green and everything. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's very large. Has the big flat screen TV over there. Um, mm -hmm. Bathroom is green. Jaden hates this, but I love it because it, no, I requested it. What do you, you mean? Requested it? I don't. I thought yes. You, I thought you were like really upset that I made it green, and you're like, why? Why are you like? No, this? I I told you I wanted it green. Okay, like well, I I would have been content with a green floor, and you didn't do a green floor. <laughs> Well, I can change it right now. I can I, change it. No, no, I, I like it like how it is. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, this is this is the, the master bathroom. So, of course, you got to have the biggest bath shower combo over here um, with his and her sinks, of course, and the singular toilet mm -hmm. in the corner. So you don't have to get spotted by either window. You and, have a nice view while you're sitting on the toilet, too. Oh, yeah. Look These are that. amazing views from the bathroom. <laughs> and all the windows in the bathroom are tinted, so no one can see in, but you can see out. And plus mm -hmm. the bath shower area, amazing view. And is sheltered from the balcony by this little divider over here. Exactly. Yeah. And then going out on the balcony itself, we have just a lot of nice little seating areas for everybody. Um... Yeah. Also, these nice little plants to detract from the smell of the smoking area below, as well as <laughs> purify the, the air. <laughs> literally, they're working overtime. And of course, we also have the the jacuzzi hot tub over here in the corner because it's a it's a massive suite. It should have one. Exactly. For the money that you pay. Amen. Yeah, You're kind of... robbing us dry. <laughs> um. Oh, thank you right. for that. There's also an office over it's here. Beautiful. Forgot about the office. Oh. Oh yeah, there is one, isn't there? Yeah, and that connects right up to the bedroom slash closet behind. Forgot about that. You really went over and above, above and like it was. This yeah. is beautiful. I love, I love your suites that you designed. Thank you. And for anyone interested, for there was a lot of other suites that he did. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six more custom ones on the back, yeah. and then six more at the front. So if you want to see those, you can download and go look at it. Exactly. 
because um, we're not going to show all of them. There's no got to give you some reason to download it. Exactly. <laughs> um, and from here, we'll just go up to Lido. Yep. So we'll enter into the aft crew staircase. Um, so again, proving a point, all the crew is here, no voids. All the crews, I know um, the crew's here because I built all this and I was like, I was so proud yeah, of myself. Yeah, you did do this part. <laughs> I was so proud of myself um, zigzagging all these stairs up here and I was like, oh, I feel like a genius. <laughs> So we'll pop out here into the buffet. Not the conventional way to enter it, well, but yeah. we'll, we'll circle out real quick just for the aft pool. Yep. Um, so this is the waves pool, as Daytona deemed it. Yes. Um, just, you know, the aft pool looking out over the back with a nice view of the statue of... I don't know. I, we're going to call her the, the Lone Explorer. You know, you're good at coming up with things. I like you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, you know, we'll, um, we'll, we'll yeah. put that on a sign eventually in front of the statue before release. <laughs> yeah, we'll add it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, just, you know, normal aft pool. Um, they even have some binoculars for the guests on the corners to be able to see when you're in Alaska. Oh, yeah. You gotta get the good views from the back of the ship. Also, the exactly. TSA flag. Can't for Cannot forget the promo. You cannot. You cannot forget. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, and we'll go back into the buffet. Um, so back here, you got your fish section. Mm -hmm. And then going farther forward, you got your main buffet up here with your sweets, your meats, your quick bites, your fruits, your salad. And then this would be like your exposed drink making section where they make your drinks back there and then they'll bring them out to you when you like you can watch drinks being made right here they won't turn to you right here mm -hmm. um but yeah and i want to point out before we continue on because of th that one the one thing we looked at no names mentioned i do want oh, to yeah. point out that the entire buffet back here is in fact intertwined via the galley here so every oh, yes. buffet thing that you saw was completely accessible via the crew staircases, crew elevators, everything. The elevators here are even double-sided, and it connects yeah. all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Fully connected. Fully, fully connected. Yes, we <laughs> love interconnectability on these ships. There was a lot of headache that went into getting it all to work. But yes. it paid off. It paid off so much and shows the dedication we put into making our customs. Exactly. They they have to be correct, simply. Exactly. Um, then, if we go out on the other side, actually, over here, we oh skipped over something. <laughs> yep. Um, the best Nana room. Bananas. <laughs> the best. This is um, just beautiful. I love this place. Oh, yeah. Um, and the it views is... here are amazing. Exactly. Ever everywhere has a good view in this ship. Literally. Um, just, you know, your health smoothie bar type thing. You know, kind of like Java, Java, no. What's the smoothie brand? Um, uh, oh, good God. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't drink smoothie smoothies. King. Was Smo it? Yeah. Smoothie King. Smoothie yeah. King? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All your health. Oh my god, wait, there's that one at the tropical, tropical something. Tropical cafe? No. Oh, tropical. People know. People know. Yeah. Poppy on to the starboard side, Lino, here. We got your poolside grill, or just poolside, technically. This is your quick bites, like burgers, fries, pizza, whatever you want while you're swimming away. Um, just come grab and have a little seat. Got your ceiling fans to keep cool during the hot yes. days. Um, hot and, then and or cool way. days. Can't forget the, the yeah. cool ones as well. <laughs> yeah, th they're heaters too. In the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a great a great design feature. <laughs> uh, right? You know, totally yeah, not totally. what I'd say. <laughs> um, here you've got the bandstand that Daytona very excitedly designed for me. Yes, um, it came out I very cute. Had I had to it. do all the band stuff on here because I was like, I need it to look <laughs> amazing and function. I built the stage and he was like, Are you going to put stuff here? I was like, Yeah, I just haven't done it yet. And I so said, he's like, I Can you. I? <laughs> I'm like, Go ahead. <laughs> I said, Say less. I got it. <laughs> One less thing for me to do. So they got their little canopy so they don't get sunburned. Yeah. Um, and then you got your main little pool over here. 
quite a large pool, quite nice. Um, yeah. Heated, obviously, for Alaska if you ever want to go swimming. I will say um, the one thing about this pool that tripped me up recently is I didn't realize you had it slabbed. I thought you figured <laughs> out the water trick to make it that one little level or whatever. I, for the longest time, I didn't realize it was slab. And I was like, whoa, yeah, this no, is actually really slab. cool. The, the water trick is... I, it's there's too much to it and then yeah. things will break and then y'all get mad at me, so no. <laughs> yeah. So Simply, it if is. it's available it, it in works. vanilla, that is the best way to do it. So that way if it, exactly. it doesn't break. Exactly. So, I mean, this works. I find this is the better way anyway. So, yeah, honestly, like it, it, yeah, it's nice. And it, yeah. It's good. It works. Yep, continue. <laughs> Um, and then you got your Tequila Mockingbird, um, oh. points to people who get the reference. Yeah. Um, just to know, your Tequila Bar on board on the Lido deck. Got your bar seating here and against the actual bar itself, mm -hmm. uh, with a nice little gondola thing. This gondola Charlotte. thing is so good. It just, it <laughs> ties everything together. Yeah, it. I really wanted something to separate that space out, so it wasn't like just what what's that sitting in the middle of the deck. And I feel like yeah, this really does help break it apart. Absolutely. Um, and then coming this way, we're gonna take a slight detour through some more cabins for you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so up here we've got just the nicer suites. This isn't the super nice one we're gonna look at. But just you know the bigger suites yeah nice little bigger one has like a little couch and yeah. the nice bed design exactly and then here's the penthouse suite which is the nicest suite that you can get without getting one of the deluxe o suites which are the ford ones or the octavian suite mm -hmm. uh, so you got your semi separated off bedroom and living space um with yes, the yes. two baths, I believe it is. Yeah, this one does have two baths. So you got your half bath over here, toilet, sink, um, and then over here you got your full bath for the master with the shower, toilet, double vanity. You know, standard standard amenities for a nicer suite. Um, and then you got your nice bigger balcony with the hot tub. Exactly. They even get the hot tub. How nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it's, in the, uh, it's also the Infinity Hot Tub, because it looks it has a glass. It sure is, it sure nice. is. Nice! <laughs> um, yeah, so that's Penthouse Suite. Um, and then coming forward, um, this is Navigator's Outlook, the bottom floor. So this isn't a super nice entrance to it. Yeah. Um, but this is the double-story forward observation lounge. Which um, is so amazing. Those... Uh, yeah, again, amazing for Alaska. <laughs> Exactly. You can get those really nice views in. Why, why are you going up, Barbie? I wanted to see the, the view from up here. Okay, okay, I guess. That's it. Um, and, to top it off, we have an accessible viewing platform off the front of the ship here. Mm -hmm. um, with the binoculars and the helm's wheel to take a photo with if you want here, which broke. Always, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it is, in fact, right. available on the download, so... Yes, it will be there. Um, so, nice views off the bow. Um, yeah. Really pretty. Um, you even have the bridge wing view with the... Um, Binoculars? Yes, thank you. I almost got it in my <laughs> headlight glass. I mean, that's, cool. that's basically what it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you got so, the yeah, nice so view on the side. Good. Exactly. Really nice views down the side. This would be beautiful for Alaska, seeing the rippling, the wake from the ship. Oh, yeah. It'd be beautiful. And then going back inside, um, now we'll go upstairs with the swooping staircase here on either side. It's the gorgeous um, this staircase. Is the upper level got some big plush sofas, seating. Mm. No, just a nice little lounge spot to sit down, have a drink, and maybe tea and crumpets or something okay um, miss london over there goodness. <laughs> um got a bar here which does have a small little um like um like pastries and yeah. quick bites like sandwiches and stuff the main things from here that you'd get um, nothing too expansive just you know quick little snacks and things to get you through the day of course um Coming out this way on the port side, this is the nicer entrance to Navigators. Yeah. And outside of Navigators on this side is the Tipton Library. 
of course, named after the best TV show from when we were children, Sweet Life on Deck. Of <laughs> we love uh, London Tipton. Love London Tipton. Um, so, nice little library here. Expansive. Um, got a lot of books Lots and of books. beautiful views. Yes, I was going to say the views up here are wonderful. Double Bs, you know, books and beautiful views. Oh my god, books and beauty? Dang. <laughs> Um, and then going back towards the front a little bit, we have the entrance to the Terrace Cafe. Yes. Um, this is inspired, um, as Daytona put it, by the Parisian? Yes, the Cafe Parisian on Olympic? on Olympic and Titanic. Yes, okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so you got your little bar here, um, same kind of thing with navigators, this is more like, uh, like, Coffee, teas, pastries, like, yeah tiny little thing nothing expansive here so you get your little tea your coffee your espresso whatever you want oh, cannot forget um, the espressos exactly but the frappuccinos are only available in drink bean so okay. yeah, for yeah, the yeah. people who drink those only at drink bean up here you can get your cafe au lait your flat white your oh, yeah. normal lot you get like the more the more frenchy type coffees and such down here exactly. or up here exactly and if you want to be cheap, you can just get the free coffee, too. But, well, you know, yeah. Think that's <laughs> but then we have to uh, point and laugh at you, because you're a, a pleb that's drinking normal coffee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and then coming out, you got direct access onto the Lido deck. So a nice mm -hmm. little view over Lido. Um, nice little trellis right here, just to give some shade to those tables down there. Yeah. Um, we're going to go up from here to show off the retreat. Um, this is on the uppermost sun deck at the bow. Um, this is the adult only area. So this has all your loungers, your chairs, nice little plush seating, mm -hmm. nice little seating areas um, with a full service bar up here. So all the drinks Love. you can want. And you can also get quick bites up here. Yes, um, I do see just the so you little can... buckets back there. Exactly. You can, can be completely up here all day if you want to. And I would be. Um, wouldn't recommend it because there's oh. so much more stuff to do. Well, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so nice little loungers, uh, bigger loungers, smaller ones, some greenery to spruce it up a bit. Um, and then, of course, this eatery shade. Um, yeah, just yeah. nice little adults only area. Nice, nice, nice with beautiful views of the radar mast oh yeah i actually really love the radar mast the shape of it and everything it's just <laughs> really aesthetically pleasing you can thank disney for the inspo anyway. thank you disney <laughs> <laughs> um coming this way we're gonna head down the lido deck or the upper lido deck mm -hmm. um, got some nice little views of the pool with oh, all yeah. the clocks and everything that are there and the nice little orby light fixtures um entering into the saucer we have the jasmine lounge directly off to the left yes inspired nice by our dear friend hannah exactly nice little quaint area with a dome ceiling just mm -hmm. you know nice little lounge take the chill off from when you're outside looking at the beautiful alaska wilderness exactly um, on the port side, we're going to do the loop, uh, we have the Normandy Life Lounge. This is the dedicated lounge that is only for sweet guests. Um, this is partially inspired from the Normandy itself, partially not. Yeah. Um, just kind of took the luxe appeal of it and turned it into my own. Just trying to make something nice and upscale. Exactly. And um, I, if I remember rightly... The chair design, if I'm, if I'm thinking correct, the chair design was something from Normandy, and I know the carpet was something from Normandy. Because at yes. the time you were doing this, I, me and Ryla were doing Normandy, and that's where you got some inspiration for some of the wall panels and such. Because I want to say Precisely. the walls were the, oh god, the smoking room murals, I believe. Maybe. Possibly. Not sure. <laughs> well, only time will tell. <laughs> Some expert might tell us in the comments. Oh, no. Lord. I don't need them in my comments <laughs> on Normandy. Um, have your nice little bar here. Get all the drinks you want. Mm -hmm. um, and then this leads you directly out onto one of the two private suite decks for all the suite guests. Mm -hmm. 
a sweet more Death space. A lot of goodies on this. Exactly, more space than you could ever need up here. Um, mm -hmm. Literally, I think this deck alone would probably handle the how many people would be outside from the sweet guest at yeah. once. But you know, got to be over the top. Yeah, we got to give them so a little, little it, extra. They pay exactly. for it. So we got to give them. Extra. If you come up here, this is even the nicer section. More loungers, and then you have the nice covered sunbeds right here. Oh yeah, I love um, these covered sunbeds. Super nice, super luxe, and then they even have their own private hot tub up here. Oh, I actually didn't notice this. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure I like and noticed it, it, but I just didn't think about it was up here. And it's infinite edge too. There we go. Yeah. See, this is why you think of everything on on these ships. I I try, I try yeah. my best. Um, coming this way, you got a little door coming out. On this half of the saucer on this side, you got your mini golf. Mm -hmm. So you can come over here and piss your dad off after he's drunk <laughs> from a couple beers if you want. Oh my god, um, this is gonna be us. This is, I'm gonna piss you off. If you're, if you, <laughs> literally, if you're we're gonna be drunk and hung over <laughs> coming back from Costa Maya, and we're gonna be we're gonna each be other th board. Yeah, No, for real. I'm gonna be like hitting you with my golf club. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and Bethany are going to be trying to save us from each other. <laughs> They're going to be standing over in the corner like, oh my god, why are we with these two? <laughs> um, back this way, um, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here. Mm -hmm. But back this way, we've got the Waves Bar, which is servicing the Waves Pool Deck as well. Yes. Um, so this is another just, you know, normal bar. Uh, yeah. With some seating, some tables, some umbrellas. They're currently closed, but they can be opened, of course. Mm -hmm. um, with some gorgeous views off the back, you know. Gotta, oh, yeah. gotta have the, the gorgeous views. With the wake view, honey. It's it's simply beautiful. <laughs> it is easy, breezy, beautiful, cover roll. I, you know, <laughs> I'm not mad at it. <laughs> there we go. Um, coming this way, um, got some windows here that look into the kids' clubs. We're not going in there. Um, I don't like it in there. They're Fair dumb. Enough. Yeah. Just saying that. Understandable. Um, and then I just need to showcase. I believe in <laughs> women's rights. So not this is the men's not bathroom this over here. Bathroom. Good so this is the men's bathroom. Okay. Yeah. You know, you got a toilet shoved in the corner, two urinals, one sink. Okay. Of course. That's what the men get. And then let's come back out here. And then the women's bathroom, <laughs> you have two stalls, a whole window, glass window with views, and a double vanity in this bathroom. And, and, when you're on the toilet, look at this view. <laughs> Literally the best view ever. Absolutely. And I will say, if you do go under the staircase over there, or like the corner, or you're on the, like, the window washer, you will 100% see right into this room. You know, you probably would, but... I live by the idea that this would be one-way glass. Oh, absolutely. It's like the, the 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 bathroom down by the suite. It's tinted. Exactly. It's tinted. It's one way. It's mirrored. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. It's that. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just, so you can look in right here. This is the kids' club area. This is entrance. the only good um, area of this. That's it. I have yeah, not actually it's, seen it's any not, rooms. You haven't gone in there? I have not seen any of those rooms, so we're just gonna- Oh, oh no, no, we don't I... have to! We don't have to! No, now you oh. have to. Um, so it's separated- So, before we go farther, this is not a kids' focus ship, okay? So there's only two clubs, because yep. there should not be any children here anyway. Yeah. Um, so this is for the younger ones, you know, the tykes. The tykes, um, uh-huh. Yeah, you got, you got your ball pit right here. <laughs> <laughs> very, very um, sanitized, I imagine. A slide. Um, this thing for them to run circles around each other with. Oh, I was thinking um, this was like one of those like caterpillar tunnel things. Like you'd crawl through it. You know, that's a better idea for it. So hold it's up, that now. I got, I got it. I know, um, I know how, to, how to replicate that. Let me just go to one here. Like, there you go. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it. Um, and then you got some little stools here with tables for them to color with, and a giant TV screen so they can just stare at it all day. Of course, we have um, we have to have the tablet kids on board. Exactly. This is the teens one. Uh, much nicer, I find. Mm -hmm. Nice big old sofa with two chairs, giant TV showing the latest movies, and two things for pool. So you know. Yeah, because teens love pool. 
They will after this cruise, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, that's that. That's it. Um, as you can tell, I don't like this area, but it's done. Yeah. It might not make sense, but it's done. But it's done. Oh. <laughs> I will say, I did add an access point to the very... I, I did see the, the team area up in the very back, because I added a, a crew door I, to the back I noticed stairs. that door. I noticed. Because yes. I would have not done Arch, I would have done Dark Oak. So ah, I'll swap. there you go. <laughs> uh, this is Octavian's Den, the nightclub on board. Um, of course, gorgeous views oh, off of the course. side. Um, we got an old dance floor right here, mm -hmm. seating all around, and a bar, and yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the nightclub. That's um, fun. And then coming forward, it brings you past the Jasmine Lounge chicken. And, ooh, excuse me. Bless you. It's 1 a.m. in the morning when we're doing this. Yeah, so. For real, <laughs> it is exactly 1.10. Exactly. Um, and then you're back on only no deck, and that's really everything uh, in terms go. of passenger spaces. Is um, there anything of crew you would like to show off, just as a sneak peek to anybody watching? Um... I guess we could go show the I-85. So let's go back down to the atrium. Ooh, yeah, because this is a good access point for people to get, uh, get their bearings. Exactly. So if we want to come down, this puts you onto deck zero. Oh, I guess we could show the the um, medical center too while we're down here. Oh, yeah. Um, So if you go this way, the, the, okay, just, I have done this, not to toot my own horn, I've done this so well that I get lost. There we so go. That's, that's how, how I know, I know it's good. Right. Yes. <laughs> that's how I know. Oh, we can show the the um, crew lounges and mess, actually. Yeah. You do that. Show um, whatever you want to show off. So, exactly. This is the engine control room. Um, reference here, if anybody notices it or knows it, yeah, close yeah, to you. Um, Only <laughs> Only true Dooku 200 slash Octavian fans would know. Exactly. So this is just, you know, engine engine control room with an office, little closet. Yeah. Um, nothing fancy. Um, <laughs> and then if we go back this way, okay, just, just to show it. If you look down, you can see there is a full engine room down there. Um, yep. Fully interiorized, fully and if you look up, the uptake is also fully furnished. Yes, with it is. It is done. It's it is there. also fully lit up. They, exactly. Daytona made me do it. Yes, so. <laughs> I was very adamant that you need to get this looking as accurate to real ship as possible. And I feel like I did it. So. Oh, absolutely. I love this, this place. <laughs> Looks great. Um, this is entering the bulk cargo area, but if we detour right here. It'll put us into the crew mess. Yep. Pretty nice, if I do say so myself. It's a we, very we nice like... space for the crew. Exactly. We like our crew members here. Um, oh, yeah. They only sleep two per cabin, so, you know. Yeah, even in some of those yeah. cabins, maybe you won't even have a roommate or anything. So you can get a solo. Exactly. Um, coming back this way, uh, we got your crew lounge. Ooh, I really like the orange in here. It really, it brightens up the mood. Etc. I, I love it. I also love the little. Okay, I know this is not what you intended. To me, these remind me of like Art Nouveau style arches, and I know that's not what you intended, but it looks great. You know what my intention was? Arch. Um, to not make it look dead in here. There so. you go. Well, you you succeeded. <laughs> so I feel like it worked. Yeah. Um, here's the. Um, club, nightclub, crew bar, whatever you want to call it. Nice little dance floor. This is where the karaoke fun happens. Stage. Exactly. Got some tables and a bar. Um, and can oh, we talk about how nice Skulk I is? I love Skulk for like a little <laughs> night sky type ceiling. Exactly. Design. It's a nice little effect. And yeah. you got a view off the stern, of course. Literally the perfect view of the wake and everything. Literally, and you're so close. The only thing, there's two decks below you. One's the morning station. Wait. No, that's above. No, yeah, that's above. Okay, there's one deck below you in the water from here. So. Yes. 
confuse myself. Anyway. <laughs> it's because we've been working on that other ship that we can't talk about. <laughs> Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. My head hurts from yeah, that. Fair enough. I think both of our heads <laughs> are hurting from that one. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then we'll keep walking down I-95. Um, we will approach the forward... Well, not forward, but like the, the forward half yeah. of the half staircase to get to the medical center. Um, I stole this from Daytona. I'm giving him the credit. <laughs> or was it was it Rilla? It was Rilla. me. That's I. Did you take it from Normandy? I did. Okay, yeah, that was me. Okay, well, thank you. It's beautiful. That's anyway, <laughs> uh, medical center. Got your little check-in desk. Um, triage area, X-ray, the wards, the medical theater. And your morgue right here. Yeah. So, can store the dead bodies after you've seen the blue cow. So, <laughs> the blue cow. I I just realized I don't think you even mentioned the blue cow up on deck. Oh, we okay. Sorry, people. We've got a detour back up to the top. I don't know. Finish um, your stuff down here. We're just we'll put that as the finale. Oh, okay. That's fair. So, um, guys, gotta remember the blue cow for later. If we don't forget about I, it. That's really the main things, honestly, from down here. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna show off one crew cabin, just a singular one. Oh, yeah. Just like a little peek in. Oh, look at that. Kind of, kind of small, crammed, but it works. But it, Lots of it storage. Gets the job. Lots of storage for them. <laughs> um, substations. You know, got your stairs down to the lower decks. Um. Yeah, there's 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 a lot going on here. Oh yeah. Cargo doors. Um Yeah. Um, the only good thing about I ninety five is you can't get lost that way. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um Okay, so we'll just go up and up and up and up and up and up. I'm gonna Can we show a standard better. passenger cabin? No, but I can pop a he my head in because I went up. Th I went back down to the entertainment and then went out to the promenade deck. So um, this flew is out. yeah, this is the normal cabins. So let me just pretend like we're walking in. We got all the wardrobes on this side, nice three ones. The little bathroom we were able to fit the shower in as well as a sink. Toilet mm -hmm. is a bit of a different issue, so we're not going to tackle that today. And of course, you get your bed, <laughs> couch, desk with a chair because we like to add the details. And of course, your mm -hmm. little flat screen TV in the wall. And lots of mirrors because mirrors make the room feel bigger. And especially with the types of sceneries you're going to be in, it would it just fits the vibe. It just works very well. It does. It really does. And I would like to point out, because I think you didn't mention it, there are no ocean view cabins. There are only balcony cabins and like a few interiors. Very few interiors. Exactly. exactly. And that was only uh, because of my doing. Yeah, originally it was going to be fully ocean um, balcony cabins, and then Daytona decided to add interiors. Yes, um, just a few, just to fill but, up the middle of the ship. Yeah, the AC chillers and pantries can only fill so much of the inside. So. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so here's the blue cow. Um, this restaurant is de dedicated to Daytona. Um, it's dedicated to the woman who I claimed was my grandmother for the longest time. She was not my grandmother, she was just a family friend. But we uh, have a fun story about a blue cow on the Royal Caribbean ship Serenade of the Seas. Uh, the story will not be told today, but if you know, you know. There's only a few people who know or will bother to know. Yes. <laughs> um yeah uh one thing we did forget to mention buffet seating outside you know oh yeah if you want um but yeah that's that's the full tour really um yeah. the ship oh. has been a while in the making then i stopped and then got back on it so and probably I, I pushed you to continue on more and more you really did I, I did most of the entertainment and then I stopped and then did all the crew and then stopped and then did the rest of it. So, and then I did um, all the middle cabins and then I think that was the the push for you of like, oh yeah, no, she's really close. 
Yeah, you doing those AC chillers, I hate doing the AC chillers. That that mm -hmm. was enough for me to be like, okay, fine, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> also, one thing we forgot to talk about was the crew pool here behind the funnel. I did have oh, a few yeah, more they, chairs and such. I don't know if you noticed that, but... I did. It's very cute. I yeah. Like it. Just to fill a bit more space. But no. Mm -hmm. uh, crew gets lots of good, nice nice things on, on board. We They were treated Thanks. very well. We try our best. You know, of course. Here are Octavian especially line. With, Well, with the potential for you to be stuck with these passengers for three weeks, you know, you gotta have something nice. Oh yeah, and plus, knowing that they're kind of the upper crest society members, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you gotta have some luxury for the crew. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm. But... Um, but yeah. I think so right. any any questions for me that you think I need a hit? Or... I honestly think you covered everything. I think I did. All right, you want to meet up on the bow for the for the outro? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yep. Oh, yes. guess what? We didn't cover what? That's for the download. Okay, fair enough. If you want to, you want to see what's in the bridge. forward. Oh, the bridge. I thought you were the suites in the front super. <laughs> oh. Yes. I said we weren't showing those You suites. know what? We can just peek a little through the window here. Look at that bridge. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, it's a anyway. nice bridge. Um, detailed. The backside is all built out, as you might have seen on Brillon's stream. Yes. Um, Rilo did stream, and he, me and he, did all the crew cabins directly behind the bridge. So the crew, the captain's yes. cabin, the chief engineer, chief engineer and cruise, director. cruise director. That's the one I was thinking of. And yeah, safety offices, yeah. all those security things, all that stuff is in there. If you want to watch the stream, I'll try to link it in the description. So anyway, you can take a little looksy peeksy. Because it also has a great room from Lusitania that me and Rilo are also working on. Yeah, that, that was the main subject of that stream. Yeah, uh, and I, I forced him to help us. And I am forever grateful. Absolutely. So. I gotta make sure to put him <laughs> on the credits as well. Oh, I will. I yeah. will. <laughs> okay, well, Jaden, thank you so much for the tour. It was thank a you pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank okay. you. Thank you also for you guys. Oh, that's the inventory button. Thank you guys so much for <laughs> watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Um, hopefully, we'll have another ship out from Jaden a little bit quicker than three years. <laughs> well, okay. So, in in my defense, I was in college and just finished. I graduated today, technically yesterday, actually. But um, congratulations! This is the video that's gonna you. you're gonna look back on and be like, "Oh my god, I was still playing Minecraft after college." <laughs> you know, I. I can't say it's anything. Never gonna stop. I literally it's can't say anything. I've been out of college for how many years? I'm still, I'm still doing this. Girl, I my coworkers found out about it, <laughs> and they, I, I was kind of shocked because they were just like, "Wait, that's so cool!" And I was like, "Why?" I'm glad your guys thought it was cool. Mine thought it was weird. <laughs> I no, so I showed them fantasy, and oh. one of them, she was like. Holy crap, that's actually cool. I thought it was gonna be bad, and then it would have been bad. And I was like, no, I take pride in this. And then I showed my other coworker, and she was like, holy. And I'm like, she's a gamer though, so she oh, she yeah. kind of gets it already. But um, yeah. yeah, the first one's not a gamer, and she was like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then she went show her brother at home, and he loved it. So I I feel better about it now. That's but. so awesome. I <laughs> simply, if y'all watching this and you wanna you wanna tell your coworkers, go tell your coworkers about it. You never know what might I'll, happen. I'll probably send this to my coworkers when you post it. God, so. <laughs> they're gonna be like, who's like we get you, we get who you are, but who's that weird one with the high pitched voice? Oh, they know about you already. Oh, Don't God. worry. I hate it here. Anyway, they, they know they know about your adventures too. So. <laughs> Oh no! I'm <laughs> uh, not you spilling the tea of mine to your co-workers. I'm sure you spill my tea to your co-workers. I definitely do. And with that... But you definitely have like twice the amount as me. But anyway. Yeah, anyway. With that, <laughs> thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Jaden will definitely be looking at the comments eventually. But until bye. the next video... <gasps> bye! Thank you.